Hello everybody, Matt Brown here with another installment of my first symphony video series. I'm here at the New York Historical Society in Uptown Manhattan to show you the inspiration for my symphony. Five paintings by Thomas Cole called The Course of Empire, which are owned and housed here at the Historical Society. Let's go inside and take a look. So here are the five paintings, The Course of Empire, five paintings, five movements for the symphony. It all depicts the same landscape in different uh, segments of an empire's development. So this first one, titled The Savage State, is early man just at the beginning of civilization and also at the sunrise of a day. You see a big mountain with a boulder in the background, which is a very key symbol. Uh, and then you can see here is a hunter coming in with the sunrise, pushing away the storm as a symbol of man pushing away nature, nature depicted by this fleeing deer. Uh, off in the distance, you can see some teepees. It's a very uh, early development. And then from then, we move on. Again, you can see the mountain with the boulder here to the second painting, the pastoral state, which is a much more peaceful agricultural state of maybe a few centuries ahead. Um, there are people, there's a man right there starting math and science, you can see. You can see that there's some agriculture going on. There's uh, off in the distance, you can see a musician with some dancers, which will be depicted in the pastoral movement of my symphony. Um, and yeah, here you can just see a bit more uh, harmony with nature going on here. However, we move to the next one, the biggest painting, called The Consummation of Empire, which is very ancient Roman. There are glorious large buildings, and there is a huge parade going on with just tons and tons of people out to see the emperor, possibly victorious from battle. Um, just people all over the place. Here you see there's a couple kids playing there with some uh, toy ships. Uh, a lot more people. And then up here is an interesting symbol. is one guy contemplating the whole scene, which will be depicted in the third movement of my symphony. Again, you can see the mountain with the boulder way pushed off in the background, almost forgotten about in this painting. And then we move on to the destruction as the empire has been sacked by another invading force. There are just as many people in the scene, however they are not there to celebrate anymore. They are there to either destroy or be destroyed. Um, some really grisly scenes going on. I see that guy in green down there might be the guy that I was referring to before a few decades later. Um, and again the mountain with the boulder always in the background there, this time coming with the tempest. And then the final one, several decades or maybe centuries later, we have Desolation, which is the final painting, and it shows all of the grand buildings now in disrepair and nature overtaking it all. Um, the water is very placid, a little bird. And then you can see how the mountain with the boulder is still there, completely unchanged from the first one, showing how nature always remains unchanged despite human. So here are the five paintings. Five paintings, five movements with a very, in my mind, a very symphonic arc. Um, I'm excited to write the piece and uh, show it for you guys. 